Viewer discretion advised. Hey everybody, Big D here. It's time to review Comic Book Men Season 4, Episode 7, titled Turtle Time. And if you've seen it, this is a spoiler review, man. And what an episode it was, because if you're a big TMNT fan, then you're going to enjoy this for sure. So stick around. Uh, again, spoilers, you have been warned. If you have not seen the episode, go to amc.com slash comicbookman, watch the full episode there. It should take me less than one minute to just recap the whole episode and uh, final score. So, we see this 1997 Ultraman, and it's like, like two Ultraman, and I'm not really familiar with that. I think it's a Kaiju type of thing, or Kaiju for Godzilla and all that. Uh, now, in my mind, one piece would be at least $55 for one piece but he wanted a hundred piece each the man and uh, talking about contraband and bringing that Ultraman over and everything it's pretty weird and the sell went from like the price went from 55 to 45 and they sold it at 50 it got sold now Kevin uh, Eastman the co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles he comes he shows us these sketches the original the drawings and his first one was Michelangelo did not know that fun fact uh, two million dollars he's gonna sell it for not to comic book men themselves but two million he's selling it for and if you're a big fan go ahead spend two million on TMNT it's a piece of history though now 2011 Swamp Thing um, that was pretty cool it got sold for like 99.95 but then she was like oh I don't know if I want to pay that much we do 85 and end up selling it for 85 because she's a girl of course and Walt's like ah 85 <laughs> I'm okay with that so it sold in a 1977 Star Wars a banner from a movie theater. Now I would buy that for, I was stupid, a hundred dollars. I said a hundred dollars, but he wanted like seven thousand five hundred for it. It is a piece of history too. I hundred dollars. What was I thinking? Maybe about fourteen thousand dollars. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much it is. Ten thousand, five thousand, eight thousand. I don't know. But he wanted seven thousand five hundred, and no. They didn't buy that because, of course, they're going to be, you know, like, oh, we don't want to spend that much. But, of course, Kevin likes Star Wars. And they're not going to even put it up on the uh, store. But what did I think about this episode overall, man? Now, let's start off with the cons. They always make bad decisions. And I know they have to do it sometimes, but they should have bought that Star Wars one. They really should have. I think they, they never buy. Every time I want them to buy something, they're like, oh, nope, can't buy it. Sorry. And they just... They let something of a piece of history walk out. Now the pros. It's really cool though. The, the stuff that they brought in. That Star Wars thing, really cool. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sketches, really awesome. Really uh, inspiring at points. And the Swamp thing, really great. Uh, the contraband in the beginning and all that, talking about it, really funny. Uh, the history, of course, just seeing it, man, and reading it. Star Wars, the banner, of course, and... Not racist, but in the beginning, the black guy, he was really cool and really funny. They're really funny, man. Or, he's really funny. So, overall, I'm going to give this episode of Turtle Time a A-, minus secondarily, a B. Because it's enjoyable. It's fun. I laughed. Brian made me laugh. Walt made me kind of get mad and cringe. But, overall, fun. Thanks so much for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed. See you all next week. Uh, I don't know if Comic Book Bent went on the mid-season finale. I don't know if they do that. I think they do. So uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, the Jurassic World trailer with Chris Pratt just came out. I just reviewed that, and also The Walking Dead. Uh, I'll, be re I'll be reviewing Gotham later tonight, so thanks. See you all soon.